Hi, I'm Rob from RobNanFollow.com and this is my little short video review of a superb little Ansel Adams book I got out from the library the other day called Ansel Adams, The National Park Service Photographs. What happened was, um, in the uh, early 1940s, I think around about 1941, Ansel Adams, the famous American landscape photographer, was commissioned by the uh, United States Department of the Interior to take a series of photographs of iconic American landscapes and national parks with the idea that these photographs would then be used um, to create large murals on public buildings. Unfortunately, because of World War II, um, the project was never completed in terms of the murals, but what we were left with was a fantastic collection of Ansel Adams black and white images from um, some of the most famous national parks in America and this is what this book is it's a collection of some of those photographs um, a little bit of history of Ansel Adams most famous for his pictures of things like um, moon over half dome um, uh, Yosemite uh, park photographs and um, we've also got in here pictures from other parts of America as well that highlight uh, Native American Indians, um, the uh, Grand Canyon, um, the Grand Tetons National Park and things like that as well. I picked this one up from the local library um, and I recommend everybody, if you haven't done so already, nip into your local library and see what they've got on the photography shelf and always remember that if they haven't got something um, there they can probably order it in for you. In the UK there's a nominal fee, normally about 50p to get books in, but you'll find that there'll be a large book depository where they keep lots of these books, and people just don't, don't get them out. So, in the table of contents, we've got Kings River Canyon, Grand Canyon, Native Americans and their lands, the Zion National Park, the Seguro National Monument, Death Valley, the Carlsbad Caverns, Boulder Dam, Rocky Mountain National Park, the Grand Teton National Park, Yellowstone National Park and Glacier National Park um, and what I'll do is if I just flick through some of the photographs that they'll give you a rough idea of what we're looking at and Ansel Adams always took great care in making sure that when his photographs were reproduced and the Ansel Adams Foundation that they were reproduced as faithfully, faithfully as possible and as much quality as you could put into a printed book and you can see this in the fabulous play of light and contrast over the, over these images you know you could almost reach out and touch the face of the rock and feel the texture of the sandstone um, he is a consummate master of composition of taking photographs when the light is at its best to, to um, put depth and feeling into his images and you know looking at Ansel Adams photographs is a masterclass in black and white landscape photography. There's many many great images um, in this collection many that I hadn't seen before as well. Um, great inspirational work and as I said before you know you can enjoy them for what they are which is great photographs and you can also enjoy them as objects in photographic composition, style, structure and obviously the fantastic use of light. So there we go, Ansel Adams, the National Park Service photographs, highly recommended, belongs on every landscape photographer's bookshelf or if like me you can't afford that many books, go to the library, grab a copy and enjoy some of Ansel Adams' best work. Thanks for watching.